everyone, I'm Stacey Valdez, and today I'm going to be informing you about professional training in Microsoft Office. Professional training in Microsoft Office can uh, bring three aspects to the table. Increased uh, job productivity, increased job satisfaction, and enhanced employment. So first I want to start off by asking you guys a question. Have any of you ever taken a professional training specifically in Microsoft Office? Mm -hmm. I'm seeing some yeses and some noes <laughs> and a lot of blanks. Um, so if you had to find it beneficial. Yes. So years ago in 2006, right around when I started at Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, I was offered a class in Microsoft Excel. I took the class, it was a day-long seminar. Um, I found that it was really, really beneficial to my job function. Unfortunately, this Seven years ago, things have changed and a lot of newer versions have come out. So now I wanted to talk to you about some of the productivity that can be increased due to the professional training. Um, these are the three goals that I'm going to be discussing. They increase productivity, increase job satisfaction, and enhance employee development. Let's start with the increased productivity. From my experience, most of you want to know a basic knowledge of Microsoft applications. We use them day to day. Most people only know functions that they learn day to day or you know, sharing with their peers. Um, you, by professional training in Microsoft Office, you can learn the same task and complete it in less time just by using some of the different functions. Uh, for instance, Mail merge. Microsoft Word offers a function mail merge. So if you're printing out envelopes that have mailing address labels, and say you have 50 envelopes to do, and it might take you an hour to do these envelopes, manually typing each one of them in, printing them all out. With the mail merge application in Microsoft Word, you can automate that. You can do a little database, and it spits it out in a fifth of the time. Sounds nice, right? This can also eliminate a lot of the common mistakes that come with that finger syndrome, um, skipping a person, that type of stuff. Studies have proven training to be a strategy to improve overall productivity. Now that we've talked about increased productivity, let's discuss some of the job satisfaction that can come from productivity. There's sort of a chain effect that comes from professional learning, specifically in Microsoft Office. You learn new skills, your productivity goes up, less work, less stress. The less work, the less time that you're stressing over some of the tasks that you have to complete. You can also get acknowledgement from some of the upper management. Your productivity increase, your job gets done faster, they do a great job. This can result in some merit increases, maybe a promotion, um, and just being more acknowledgement, which is great. I once completed, I think I told you guys this last week, I completed the database from scratch, um, oodles and oodles of information. It was really complex. Once I was done, I mean, it took a little, little time. Once I was done, um, management came over and they said, wow, it's pretty sad. I can't believe that you did that. I didn't get a promotion or a merit increase, but still the satisfaction of getting acknowledged that I did it was great. Um, so it can also increase your, your confidence level of your work. So you know that the stuff that you're completing as a result of this proficiency training is accurate. You know that what you're doing is less manual, less time consuming, less, you know, um, areas of error. So now that we've talked about job satisfaction, let's move on to employee development. Oh, I'm sorry. Less stress, less work. Um, I just thought these little pictures were kind of funny. Did you ever have a uh, Instances where you're overstressed, you have a lot of manual processes, you know, uh, things coming in, lots of information that you would like to automate. Can you imagine taking a simple task that you do right now that takes a lot of time and just click the button and it's done? Not having to do all kinds of manipulations and configurations in your files. I thought this was really good because that's me right there. <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about employee development. Employee development can get you to the next step in your rank. A lot of companies offer initiatives in employee development programs. We offer them here at Bank of America, but to my knowledge, 
It's not any type, any sort of professional training, especially in Microsoft Office. Um, it might be offered, but it's not pushed. I think that that would be something that would be really beneficial to a lot of the employees here. <coughs> I know for myself, I'm kind of a data geek. I like working with computers and the data manipulation. There's a lot of people that I work with that this could be something that could benefit their productivity and possibly their job satisfaction. We hear about all the complaints. Um, according to Ray Lynn, training is the most efficient method to achieve development in employees. You can learn new tasks, increase productivity. You can pass along through shared knowledge to your staff members and your peers. So say, for instance, McGee has offered a training program to her group, but Samantha is not. And she can say, hey, this is what I learned. It's really helpful. You should try it. In conclusion, um, professional training in Microsoft Office can increase job productivity, which is great, job satisfaction, which is great, employee development. Um, so let's face it, time is money. So the less time that you're spending manually changing stuff, the less money the company needs to spend on you being um, professional training in Microsoft Office has many attributes, the job satisfaction, the job productivity, and the employee development. It can be beneficial to both the employee and the 